Hello everyone. Learning rate is one of the hyper parameters that we have to set before start of the training. It basically controls the speed of learning. So in this video, we will see what is mean by learning rate, what is its effect on speed of learning and how to include learning rate in TensorFlow 2.0 model. So while training our model on uh, training data set in back preposition step weights will be updated with the formula w new is equal to w old minus derivative of the loss function calculated at that point. So this derivative is also called as gradient or slope. Now learning rate plays an important role to decide how much magnitude we want to take from this particular slope gradient or derivative. So we are going to decide that with the help of alpha. This alpha is called as learning rate. Now alpha will take value from 0 to 1. So 1 indicates we are going to take whole value of derivative and 0 indicates we don't want to update the weights. So generally its value will be 0 0.1 means we want to take 10% of the derivative that we have calculated for the weight updation. Now let's see what is the effect of larger value and the smaller value. So suppose initially we have set a value quite large that is close to 1. Then what is scenario? In first graph we can see that we have plotted a curve error versus epoch. Okay, so if we have set alpha value quite large then we are considering large amount of percentage from derivative that we have calculated. We will fastly come to the convergence point but we will not exactly end the convergence point because constantly we are moving faster and we will miss out that convergence point means the point where we have very less amount of error. With large learning rate we will also suffer from overshoot. If we are on the one part of uh, the error graph then due to learning rate we will shift from one part to the other part. This problem occurs due to the high learning rate it is also called as overshooting. So we will not end up with uh, the point where we want to reach. So these are uh, some of the problems with high learning rate. On the other hand if we are taking a learning rate very small then we will meet our convergence point but it will take the considerable amount of time because only small amount from derivative uh, slope or gradient we are considering so little little steps will be taken to meet uh, the next point and we will meet at we will meet our convergence point but it will take huge amount of time so thumb rule says that you have to put the learning rate very carefully and it should not be very large or very small it should be moderated one which will help us to get our convergence point with less amount of error and within less amount of time. Now let's see how to include this learning rate in our model. Okay, so this was the previous setup for our model. We have created our model and we have used stochastic gradient descent algorithm here to update the weights. We have used categorical cross entropy as a loss function and we have used matrix as accuracy. Now we want to include learning rate for the stochastic gradient descent. We want to explicitly specify that. So for that we have to use stochastic gradient descent class from tf dot 
keras dot optimizers dot stochastic gradient descent one of the parameter is learning rate and we are going to set that learning rate to 0 0.001 okay this this will form a set of four stochastic gradient descent and uh, instead of using optimizer in single quote stochastic gradient descent we have used the configured one okay now execute the cell and train your model with model.fit that's it so this is how we can use the learning rate in our model for training. Thank you for watching the video.